Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Loic, and the real reason I came here was to test how the Google transcription systems work with my French accent. I, uh, I host, a, so let me know, please, as I go through the slides. Um, I host a conference called The Web in Paris, which is uh, in December, and it's 3,000 people, and I also have a company called Sysmic. Everything is becoming a platform. And of course, you know Android, and you know iPhone, the App Store, hundreds of thousands of applications. Um, our platforms, and I think it's fascinating. In fact, if your company doesn't have a platform, you should really create one right now. There's another platform which is coming. It's for Google TV with hopefully hundreds of thousands of applications. We're going to create one as well, which is completely going to change TV. But I was thinking of another platform, which is what I wanted to share with you today. I was thinking about a, a body. A body? A body? How is this doing? Uh, platform. So my human body, let, let's make it more precise. So this is a Wi-Fi scale that you step on and it sends your weight without you doing anything straight to the internet. So it's great, you, you, you can see how you get fat live. Um, that's actually a kid growing here, the weight. You can also share it to the internet, of course, and on Twitter and on Google Buzz and LinkedIn and others. And the reason why you would do that is because it gives you motivation. And so there are sites starting to appear, like Fat Dropper, <laughs> where I can challenge you like a game. Remember the Foursquare games? I can check in, I become a mayor of this place. Same here, I can challenge you with my weight. And this is all gaming. Uh, now I can also challenge you with uh, RunKeeper, which is a great app, uh, which gives you live running, live biking, data, and you can mash them up. There is already why things is already talking to RunKeeper, so you can see how much you, you do fitness, how it has an effect on your weight. Here is Fitbit, another of, one of those uh, devices which you wear, and it tells you how much you walk, but also how much you sleep, how you sleep, how long you sleep, and it shares it with your friends. So that's very powerful. Of course, you could connect that to your DNA. Now let's get even more you know, deeper into your body. You get your DNA information, and uh, you have here an ecosystem of applications and data around your health and your body, which is starting to appear. And that's not the end. Are you not frustrated when you go to the doctor that you have to fill up exactly the same questionnaires all over and over again? So of course, Google Health is trying to solve that by help you sharing with your uh, doctor in private. My dentist took uh, pictures of my teeth before and after she did what she had to do. Imagine now that if you start sharing this and another doctor or another dentist could check what she did. You could also share what you eat and you will take those people crazy, right? Like uh, when Foursquare started or Twitter started. So here you share what you eat and it's really very important information that we all needed to have online. And you can see, you know, these very valuable <laughs> pictures here. And <laughs> so sharing, you might laugh at that, but actually, if you think about Zynga, Zynga has completely redefined the gaming industry in less than three years because it added social to it. I think adding social to those applications and to all the data your uh, body can procure to those applications will completely change the game. Of course, we'll have to be careful, but you can think about uh, the eye toilet, for example, which is a device I, I was really dying to, to get myself. And I looked online and I actually uh, found it. Someone did it. It's called Toto. It's called uh, the, uh, uh, let's see the name exactly, but this is going to send data. Here we go, the Intelligence Toilet 2. Very interesting. Now, but just think of this as a joke, of course. It does exist. I think it will become standard. I think we'll will not even pay attention to it. But your, your phone could also stream how the quality of the air. If you live in Mexico or San Francisco or Paris, it won't be the same. It could stream how many cigarettes you smoke if you do. It could stream how many beers or record how many beers you get. It could tell you how many days of life expectancy you lost by doing this or you gained by drinking wine. It could compare thousands of people with exactly the same patterns as you and telling you, hey, you should actually uh, maybe drink red wine. Of course, uh, insurance companies will love to get access to that data. And it's scary, but I think the opportunity to improve our health is going to be so huge that the risk and, uh, and the security issues will, will, will find solutions for them. So imagine an app store for your body. Hundreds of thousands of applications where you know what your friends have installed, what they liked, uh, the reviews from your friends. I think this is fascinating. It's just the beginning, 
And I'm already scratching the surface because, of course, uh, Ray Kurzweil is telling us that we'll be able to download our brain to a computer in about 20 years. So maybe the, the matrix you know, image that you upload to your brain, how to fly a helicopter, will uh, become true. Thank you very much.